Today we're going to be talking about Excella Technologies and where this stock could be heading this week. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please comment how many shares of Zelle you have and then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys want to see what we're investing in in real time, why we bought, why we sold, and our public stock portfolio, and you want a free stock that could be worth up to $70 of one of your favorite companies, then go ahead and get signed up with public with the first link in the description and also follow us on public at It's Finance Bro as we're trying to get our cloud up on there. But with all that out of the way, let's get straight into our stock for today, which is going to be Zella. So as you can see, Zella had a very, very good day today, and we're going to be going over technical analysis. We're going to be going over an overview of the company's financials and some news on it, Zella as well. So if you guys want to see all of that, go ahead and stay through the end of the video. As you can see here on StockTwits.com, Zella or Xella Technologies Incorporated is going to be the sixth most active stock that was talked about on StockTwits today. We're not sponsored by StockTwits. We are sponsored by Public, however. First link in the description. I uh, just wanted to make it known that we are not sponsored by StockTwits. We just use this to see which stocks are trending. And Exella or, or Zella is number six. Most active stocks today being talked about the most in StockTwits. So, yeah. Um, just to go over quickly over their financials, that's not actually going to be the news for Zella today. Um, but the financials, we can see that they did have a beat on earnings per share, but they did miss on revenue. Um, and then also pretty much down on everything year over year but some tough comps compared to last year in the pandemic. Okay, but here we are on Yahoo Finance. We can see that we have a little bit of news here. So, Excella Technologies expands relationship with a large healthcare member engagement leader. <clears throat> So basically, Excella will provide technology and operation solutions in total value of about 7.5 million. Partnership connects uh, members in many healthcare organizations, health insurers, and U.S. government uh, programs. So basically, they are partner partnering with many healthcare organizations, insurers, and U.S. government programs. And I always like to say, if you're partnering with the U.S. government, you are doing a great job because they like to spend money like money is no object. Um, sadly, I mean, that's not good for us United States or in the United States, um, but it is good for these companies. So um, speaking from a company standpoint, it's good. <clears throat> Yeah, but let's get into kind of more of the details on this. So uh, today they announced uh, an expanded strategic partnership to utilize Excella's uh, technologies and operations solutions with a large healthcare member engagement leader. The expansion will provide obviously $7.5 million. Um, the com company solution utilizes PCH Global to improve consumer engagement, enhance uh, preventative care, and improve the healthcare experience. So overall, all good things to be um, you know investing in this company that is actually doing great things um, Excel has been at the forefront of the healthcare technology including advances in robotic process automation engagement auto uh, optimization and machine learning the partnership connects obviously all of these people which we already all know about Excel continues to invest in expanding PCH global capability capabilities to provide a cloud hosted solution for communication between a growing number of constituents constituents in the healthcare industry. Obviously the healthcare industry is always um, ever evolving so um, it's good that we can get some of these uh, people with better technology to take um, better care of our uh, people here in the United States but yeah um, but they are also improving cost of care management and care coordination. So overall, all good things. Uh, and this is a uh, you know quote uh, from the president of Excel. We look forward uh, to working with our partner and over time looking to enable more of our PCH global features. Uh, both companies serve the common goal of improving the customer health care experience. Healthcare member engagement is an exciting, exciting space that utilizes all the components of technology, data mining, and an enhanced uh, consumer experience leading to healthier customers now the reason that this partnership matters is not only is this a catalyst to you know lead people to actually think hey this is a great thing for Zella technologies not only is it a catalyst but it's also something that's just 
helping improve the company in the very long term. This isn't just gonna be a short term, oh, let's bump the stock up 10 to 20%. No, this is very good to build relationships for the long term for Zella. So overall, this is super good news for Zella. Now quickly, just to go over an overview of the company, uh, we can see here that the market cap is very, very small. 184 million, that is very easily uh, sort of manipulated. It wouldn't take that much money uh, to actually move the price of this stock. So that does put uh, investors like you and I at risk when someone could just rug pull this thing um, out of nowhere. Uh, but the performance outlook from Yahoo Finance is green, green, green on short term, mid term and long term. So that's all good. Um, you could also see in terms of financials uh, they have been doing about a billion every year but they have not been improving uh, compared to 2018 2019 hopefully they improve this year and uh, they have one price target at four dollars which is a 20 percent increase from this level 25 percent increase from this level um, and yahoo finance does have a buy rating uh, for uh, zella so overall you know okay um things you know this catalyst is definitely helping out zella a lot though okay and now everyone's favorite part of the video we can get into the technical analysis so um, here we are we have seen Zella in the past and uh, in July go all the way up and touch that $5 level ever since then we sold off we were making lower lows until we met a bottom here at about the $2.20 level um, nowadays I'm really looking out for this um, resistance or sorry not resistance support at the $2.75 level uh, so let me just draw this real quick I really do see a pretty strong support here at the two, uh, $2.75 level um, for the next kind of week. And then as in terms of a, uh, a resistance, I do see a resistance here at about the $3.50 level. So um, really what's gonna dictate whether this is gonna be bullish or bearish going forward, in my opinion, is uh, whichever one of these we break first. So if we break through the resistance at the $3.50 level, I think that we will uh, be in a bullish trend. If we break the support at $2.75, I think we can possibly, sadly, be going all the way back down to $2.20, uh, which would be very bad. So this is what we want to look for. Is it going to break that $3.50 level? If so, we could try to test the next resistance level at about $4. So um, that's really what we're looking now for. If they can break this resistance level at $3.50, uh, then we're going to be looking bullish. If they break that support, um, you know, we could be returning to 220. So basically I just repeated myself there, but I just want to make it very clear uh, that these are the levels we want to be looking out for, for support and resistance. Um, overall, today Today, um, obviously, we had a very good day today, um, up 10% and then also up in the after hours. So hopefully we will be opening somewhere in the $3 and uh, 10 cent to $3.20 range. That would um, be perfect. That is pretty much all we're going to have for the technical analysis today. Um, what do you guys think of this um, stock right now? Do you guys think that uh, it is going to be going up? Do you think it's bullish? Do you think it's bearish definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section below and then also consider leaving a like on this video if you found any value out of it and also a comment about anything just comment anything it really helps with the growth of the channel the algorithm um, and yeah but that is going to be it for today uh, make sure you guys subscribe we're trying to get to 10k by friday um, my name is zach and i hope to see you in the next video